swipe the tiny top hat. You know why? I didn't. Which is why I made this video, showing you how the tiniest of details can make games look astonishing, fun, and why these microscopic details are key to making great and exciting games. Let's start with an example from my fellow friend Fairly, shall we? There are flowers on this floating island, an actual floating island in the background, the lore, my favorite vegetable when it's a juice, and a human. But notice how you didn't notice this? Probably. Uh, that didn't quite work. What about... See this big button and how it's comprised of the word subscribe? Minuscule elements are not only present in art or clever YouTuber self-promote moments, they're present in gameplay. Heck, you're even seeing one of them right now. But this time, you'll not be able to know as to what I'm talking about for comedic purposes and making it. It's the jump hunt. If you don't know, in my game you can jump. Nothing that reinvents the wheel, but a few versions back it was impossible to change your jump height. Yeah, yeah, I know. But after version Alpha 03, I changed it so my game isn't completely from 2005 by adding variable jump heights. But with that, you could jump, let's say, very high. This really doesn't seem like it can break anything, especially on a platformer. But I built my game differently, which means that having a jump that's too low or too high could make sections not fun. Which is why I then iterated the jump height a lot until I had something that I was comfortable with. And we're not done yet, as I added something few games do. Perma running. If my game wasn't giving enough wacky already in Alpha 0.3.b, I removed the run button. Why? Let me tell you a short anecdote. It was the Sage Expo for games and fan games of 2021. I obviously submitted my adventures and got a bit of feedback, which I still very much appreciate. The main thought was that the controls were confusing, with one of the main points being that having the RAM button be the same as the Hydro Charge was kinda... And you know what I did? You know what I did? I mean, how can you not know I told you seconds ago? Oh yeah, right, uh, perma running. I killed walking because there's no reason to walk in my game. Most games have a run button. Why? Genuinely why? Tons of casual players don't even realize they're there. Something casual players and advanced players will notice though. Yeah, this looks like garbage. While my good friend Ether was playing Mike, he encountered what you just saw, which is this. What will happen next won't surprise you. You got confused, so to avoid this from happening further, I inspected Itei. There, that looks better. In the case, the error of the player better, and only took 2 hours to figure out. Once again, tiny detail, but it makes everything so much better. I have something you might not even know as tiny or small, or even normal size. You might think this is big, and a huge component of every game to this day, but... The reason as to why a title screen is small, despite it being seemingly huge, is what purpose it serves. It is the bridge between you and the game. It is small despite its complexity because it's not the game, it leads to it. If it isn't there, you immediately jump into the game, are not ready and and, and wait, I think I forgot the middle. Ah the middle! Ah the middle! Ah the middle!